What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of TNT Genetics Unboxing. This doesn't have anything to do with woodworking. This is the company here. And we're going to open this up. It might be easier if I open it that way. I'm only slicing the top very, very lightly. Just let me get situated, guys. As you can probably tell, it's a new chair. I know. It's a gaming chair. I'm not into gaming at all. I do not play games. I hate games. But I do use a computer a lot. and I'll put a clip in somewhere of the chair that I was using. So, I'll show you. So, it comes with the feet. you got to put everything together. So, I'm going to unwrap the feet here quickly. That's the feet. It's like, maybe aluminum. No, maybe metal. I don't know. Not so much the feet, but that's the base. God. What's that? And i got some other parts there. I don't know. You got a cushion, and you got a bunch of hardware. Might be harder than I debated. Is that instructions? Hopefully. I usually throw the instructions away, but I think this time, that's what the chair is going to look like. I think I need to use the instructions for this. <laughs> Hopefully everything's in here. That's the back of the chair. Oh. That's some more hardware. That's where I set my fat butt on. Oh my god, that's heavy. Now, this entire box weighs about 41 pounds. Holy crap, you gotta put everything together. You have the base, not the base, but what the seat sits on. You have another pillow. You have some type of a handle. No. An adjustable armrest, which is nice. And hopefully, I get two armrests. Holy jeepers! Uh, it looks like a bicycle seat. There's the other adjustable armrest. Oh, I'm gonna be so confused of doing this. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's what we got today to unbox and try to put together. Okay, so the instructions say first step, you get your uh, base out, flip it upside down. You gotta open up the wheels, I guess I should have did that. We got five wheels. I don't know where the heck the camera's doing or what it's doing. There we go. There's little wheels. You pop them in. Like so. Oh geez, yep, not like that. Just like so, they popped right in. Okay, once you get all your wheels on, you flip it back upside down or back up forward, I guess. You throw your gas shock in. You throw your little cones on, I guess. Put your cones, push that down. I don't know how far down it goes, so we'll just put it there for now. Okay, now we're going to go to the next step. The next step, you get your seat. That's the seat. Not too shabby. And you get your little lifters. There's a right and a left. Okay. This one's the right. You get your... Um, your 
guessing they're your M8s by the looks of it. Your M8s. There's ones without. There's ones with Loctite on it. And ones without Loctite. I'm guessing for this you don't need Loctite. So. Oh no. They all have Loctite on them. My bad. My bad. I lied. I lied. It's just. When you look at it to one side. And then you turn it. They're pretty cheap. But hey. And then all you do is you get the holes to line up on the side. And you bolt it in like so. Okay, I'm going to get this done. And uh, it better be easier to do it this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, much easier. Okay, so line up your holes. Bada bing, bada boom. Get your little Allen key they give you. And I don't, I, I wait till I snug, like I get them all snug. Both of these before I tighten it down. Kind of like tightening the car tire. Hopefully my fat butt will sit in this chair. This will definitely beat the chair I'm used to, that's for sure. And you don't want to go too tight because, you know, you don't want to strip anything. Okay, and you do the same thing on the other side, which I'll do now. Okay, once you have that done, you flip it back over. And you have this gizmo gadget here, which covers just like so. And then you put a screw where it says right there's so I can't really see. Jeez. You put a screw right in there, which you're going to be using a M5 little baby ones. Once you get the one side done, you go to your other side, you grab the smaller piece, you go wop bop, thank you ma'am, you find the hole, you make sure it went in right, put this piece on, takes it, as you see, you gotta just, die. Just kind of, there we go, you see the hole, got it lined up so I can drop the screw in now. And you tighten that down, I'm sorry about the camera view, I'm trying to put a chair together and look at the camera at the same time. Tighten that down and then we take you to the next step. So you should have that done there. With your little caps on it. Okay, once you get your little covers on, you want to get your back, rip it open. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. Put it on, and you want to line up the holes onto the side as the instructions say, which is just a little bit of a juju. So heck yeah! Once you get the one side on, I use the one with the lever that'll make it go up and down like the backrest. I just have it snug. I'm gonna bring this side over. And I'm going to put it on this side next. And screw in this side. I don't know if you guys can't really see. <clears throat> Would you use your M8? So I think that's what I said. Line it all up. Perfect. And just screw it in.
And do the same with the top. Okay. Now when you get your sides, you get your little arm cover. You put it in, it'll pop into place where it should. And you get your little baby screws out again. <clears throat> and you get that screwed on. <clears throat> Which is going to be easier if you tip it, that's for sure. Line it up. And try not to drop the million things. Pop it in. And screw it on. Oh, you guys can't really see these. And then repeat on the other side. And then it comes with four of these little caps, which is just where you screw the plastic pieces on, they just pop on like so. Give it a push down, and there you go. And now the next step. Then you have your bottom of your chair, <coughs> and you have your gizmo gadget, which it'll tell you front to make sure you put it on right. It goes like so. And then you use the M8 bolts again by 20, put one on each side, and then get that done, and I'll be back. <coughs> and then <coughs> your arms, which on it, at the back it says left to right, make sure you put it on the proper side you screw it on to the bottom you can it has a little bit of place so you can make it wider if you're fat like me or smaller so i'm going to leave it out a little bit wider because i'm fat so for instance i'll put a couple bolts in here quickly and then at the end of the video i'm going to show you and let you know how comfy i think it is and then a few weeks down the road i'll let you know again so if you guys can see, so you can have it, get about a half inch play, so I'm going to have it sticking out as far as possible. And we will see, I'm over 300 pounds. The chair says it's only good for 300, but I took a chance and uh, we're going to give it a shot. I'll be back. Okay, once you get the arms on it, oh yeah, she weighs a little bit, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a backbreak. It's not no lightly cheap chair i can tell you that much and what i paid for it the link's in the description holy jesus oh god ah oh, okay okay we're going to do this a different way yeah okay and then we're going to flip it up like so can see that whole chair sorry about the light lighting kind of sucks okay there's the chair it's pretty comfortable I have the backrest on which you just strap up through the holes my puppy dog seems to like it but hell yeah there's a good old computer I just have to raise up my monitor on the tripod a bit and hell yeah guys that's going to be it for that video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a workout, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Hell yeah. Make sure you have a great day. Stay tipsy, stay tripping, and stay sitting your butt down on that chair. Cheers, y'all.